right friends welcome back to good morning new india this is uh, news and views and this will be followed by mini capsules as well as capsules depending on the requirement of various news whether it requires moderate analysis or full analysis and please follow for 2 3 weeks then you will find that this is the best mechanism of current affairs and my request for all the students is please follow this and this you feel the best as far as current affairs is concerned the first one is erdogan calls for war on terror this is the hindu news item and at the same time there is one editorial in times of india with regard to erdogan's visit and here two three important aspects i would like to tell you turkey is gradually transforming towards authoritarian state or dictatorial tendencies and secularism is the casualty as far as the present turkey is concerned and the third important point is it is sunni dominated and the statement by turkey president stating that kashmir issue can be resolved multilaterally and that is not going well with us in fact he should not have made such a comment because he is also having similar problems with regard to kurdistan and this is one important thing that his statement is somewhat favoring pakistan and another important aspect is he commented with regard to the nuclear suppliers group where he stated that where he kept india and pakistan on the same platform which is not acceptable for most of the countries in the world because pakistan is known for proliferation of technology abroad right then the next issue fortified foods to tackle malnutrition here the important aspect is our food must contain cereals proteins vitamins minerals and unfortunately because of lack of vitamins and minerals and don't forget vitamins and minerals are known as micronutrients because of lack of micronutrients nowadays the problem is malnutrition in our country and now fortified foods is one solution fortified foods means these micronutrients will be fortified into the natural products like milk as well as salt oil there these micronutrients will be fortified which is known as fortification of micronutrients then look at the next one this is gsat 9 heralds cost saving technology and here one important aspect is it carries an electric propulsion or ep system please go through this news article and about isro i have given various aspects here isro is under the department of space and its mission is to provide nation space based services and to develop the technologies to achieve the same independently and look at the next one lokpal and the law here one important aspect is government deliberately not operating lokpal and this editorial in the hindu says that the will power of the government is lacking there are no procedural hurdles even supreme court also stated that this can be made operational with one vacancy there is no problem at all but government deliberately is not operating this lokpal and if you look at this lokpal and lokayuktas there was one amendment act in 2016 with regard to the public servants and when amendment could be done within the shortest possible time last year and why the government is waiting that is not understandable and these things please go through because public servant definition was modified with amendments last year but this lokpal and lokayuktas act is not made operational till date then the next one is equity in taxes here about farmers and this editorial strongly feels that there should be bifurcation between rich farmers and poor farmers rich farmers can be taxed and here don't forget agricultural taxation is the state subject this is one important aspect and here 
the stress in agriculture sector is something different which cannot be tackled by not taxing the agriculture sector because rich farmers can be taxed whereas poor farmers can be left without taxation then center allows beacon use for emergencies for emergencies like disaster management duties government issued one notification that multi colored beacons can be used the multi colored or red blue and white light these are multi colored beacons on top of official vehicles related to control of fire police defense paramilitary for maintenance of law and order basic important point to note is these are allowed for emergencies and disaster management duties asean wants stronger ties with china all of you are familiar with the south china dispute now asean asean is the grouping of 10 countries asean is in fact in favor of stronger ties with china and in south china sea dispute several asean countries are involved and in spite of all these things now asean countries are in for stronger relations with china because asean countries require china's economic wealth for their growth then sun shines on 300 billion dollar global fund for clean energy one important aspect is to become this international solar alliance we are talking about international solar alliance will become operational after at least 15 countries ratify it then it will become intergovernmental agreement as per un charter as per un charter it will become international agreement once 15 countries ratify it and the other important aspect is it is required to mobilize 1 trillion dollars of climate finance for various investments in solar sector by 2030 its objective is to get 1 trillion dollars of investments in the solar sector by 2030 that is one important aspect and another important aspect as per this news item is almost 300 billion dollars or you can say almost one third will come from world bank administered fund so out of 1 trillion dollars world bank administered fund will contribute around 300 billion dollars most important is if 15 countries ratify it it will become international solar alliance as intergovernmental agreement right having learned this advance pricing us stops the list of request to cbdt and two words please don't forget advance pricing agreements and transfer pricing transfer pricing is the pricing between related entities or you can say between parent company and its subsidiary between parent company and its subsidiary if some transaction takes place that is a transfer pricing and transfer pricing is prone for several future litigations so as to avoid that this advance pricing agreements is the mechanism to resolve transfer pricing disputes in advance before the cross border related party transaction actually takes place so before actually transfer pricing takes place between parent and subsidiary parent may be in usa subsidiary may be in india before this transfer pricing takes place advanced pricing agreement or apa is the mechanism to fix what should be the price and what should be the tax in advance right then spacex makes first us military launch then lands rocket again so reusable rocket the first stage of reusable rocket came back to earth and we discussed about a spacex next one is invit invit if you want more please go through this article infrastructure investment trusts these are the investment trusts which pool up money and subsequently they invest in infrastructure related projects right so this is about invits look at the next one subverting rera real estate regulatory authorities are to be established in each and every state and this act came into force from may 1st so before july 31st 
real estate regulatory authorities are to be established but some states are not showing much interest this is the editorial of times of india and real estate regulation and development act 2016 please go through this you will have all the details here right so with this let us conclude today's discussion of the news of the day good morning new india and important aspects and which you can store for the years to come we are presenting in mini capsules and capsules you will enjoy this series and please wait for two weeks then you will understand what is the beauty of this series right friends have a nice day thank you